You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I am on a Micro Bricks Tiniest Building Block Set Ever at Series 1 Grand Piano. Now, I've done the snake, and I said I had one more. So now that we're back on our regular video schedule, there is the box. I'm just showing you all the different sides. You can see a little window there, and then they show you sample sizes. Collect them all. I don't even know how many are in the Series 1 set. Maybe the instructions will tell us. Let me get that out and see. Maybe they show a picture of all the different sets. So here is the blocks, and they are tiny. And then let's see, where are we at? Oh, that's four, step four and five. So step one is getting this big base ready, which almost looks like the lid to the piano, but we'll see. Let me, uh, let me get a bowl in here. Now sometimes I stop the camera and sort things out, but let's just see if we can figure this out without stopping too much. So they have this here. Okay, this is the top layer to this. So there's two layers. So yeah, there's a tiny, tiny, lots of tiny pieces. So maybe I will, I gotta pull all these pieces, all these pieces, set this on top of this, and then in step two, put all of those on top of that. So let me do some organizing here. I thought I can forge ahead, but it will take way too long for me to try to find all the pieces. So I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. I first grouped up my pieces by type and color. And then I laid out the bottom row here and then the second row. I didn't even do the third step. They call it a second step. So first step is making this baseline here and then adding this on top. So you just have to kind of really study these instructions and look for the little breaks. Like this is a four, there's a break there. And then this one runs this way, then one running this way, and then two individual two peg blocks there. So I just kind of work my way all around. You got to really be careful because in here now, you see a two block and a four block or pin, peg, whatever you want to call it. And then a single kind of tucked right in there then doubles all the way around. It looks like, except for that one there is a four and then a double, a single, double, four, four. And that caps out that left side of the piano. So let's get in here now. If I just put this right in front, it'll start holding this structure together and there should be one row on each side that's still open like that all right okay and then there was the double here okay it'll start to hold it together as i continue along the path and then a four on this outside edge Okay, so we're starting to get there. Here, let me give you a little better perspective here. All right. And hard to show you the instruction. Maybe if you just look at that, we can kind of work together on this. Here, I'll tell you what, let me move these all over here. And then I'll move it in for you to see better. Okay, so that's what I'm going for there. All right, so. Next to that is a four. Another four. And then a two. And the two should get me one away from the edge. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that outer edge on. Okay, so the outer edge is, remember it's a four, a four, and a two. So I'll hold it. That's gonna help that. And a two out there. Okay, so that's kind of where we're at right now. And then, now let's 
see. All right, so then there is a four peg right here in this corner. Okay. And then one going this way. Can you see it still? And then one going lengthwise this way. Like I'm still okay because I need that whole outer edge to be open all the way around. And then a four here. Okay. And then a length one. Okay, so I got that four there. And then there's a long one going here. That's really going to tie all that together. that and your eyes start to go a little crazy when you're looking at these so it goes here now it looks like I have a row all the way around let's see yep all right so let's finish that then so there's a two here oh no there's a one here here's that sneaky one and then a two Four, which I don't have handy. There we go. Got another two tucked in here. And then a two. Two. The next to that is the one. I'll get that other piece that's kind of stray there. Okay. And this one's still supposed to be here. And then, let's see. Oh, so a one. Oh, no, I put a one in the wrong spot. Let me get this one out of here. Okay, let me get everything back where it needs to go. So one goes here, and then the two holds this together. There you go. And then the two finishes this top. All right. So when I come back, then there. Okay, so let's clip that all together, nice and snug. So I think that looks pretty accurate. We will, uh, I will get the next set of pieces ready, and I'll show you that step. When I come back, I'll have all that set, and we'll get started on that. All right, so I meticulously mapped out the next step just to make it a little bit easier for me. And you can see I laid out the whole next section. So if I just go one at a time, I should be able to make this work. Just follow it all the way around. Okay. Looks like so far it's all matching up.
All right, so we're coming back around here. Just double check to make sure, yes. There's a double here. A double here, okay. And then one more double on that outside edge. And it makes sense because it's overlapping all the other bricks there. And that like that, okay. And then there's this little inset here while well, you're building the center section. So it looks like, let's see, it's going to run along that black, of course. So there's a four. Let me get this in. And then another four. And then a two there, okay. And the black keys are in front here. So there's one here in this corner. All right, and then skip one, place one, all the way down it looks like. Try not to cover the instructions for you. If this works out, we should be every other one, and we're good. Okay, so that's going well. And then behind this one, and what looks to be, so behind this one, and then between the other two, between these two, there's one more little inset item here. this. See this here? It's between those two and then it should fit right on top. Okay, there we go. Next, now that that's all set, is the bottom of the piano. So now I flip it over this way. Let me grab these pieces and I'll do those next. All right, so I got set for three of these and this piece here. So let me do that first. So it looks like it's offset just slightly and then two of these. And those are gonna go, let's see, on um, this one here, I believe at that point, I'll check that in just a second, it's kind of like the pedal, and I need to make three of these. Let me make all three of the legs. One, and then, oh no, I did that wrong. They want them this way. This way, and then this way, and then this way, right? Does that look right now? That look like a piano leg. See, that slides along that too, so it could be off-center. And it needs to end up where? There's a leg here. Here. And then one leg. Okay, let's see. So it's not in this row. It looks like it's right about here. There. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let me uh, move on to the next set of steps here. All right, so here is my last big step. I do have to put the piano lid on and then make the bench, but I'll do that after I get this all in place. So it looks like, the way I have this laid out, is that this one here, it's my reference point, is gonna go and hold these two uh, back bricks together right here. So if I can get that one in. Okay. That's going to hold that all together. And it looks as though it's going to hold these two as well. So it's holding a lot together. But we'll see. I got to 
get a few things set here. There's a lot of little bricks that need to be put into place. I almost found that the tweezers were easier for me to use. Watch, I can just grab these tiny bricks, set them. I need them. Okay, so that's reset now. This is going to go here. That looks like that holds quite a bit together. And there's one more in the back. But let me do this one here because this will hold this whole section together. And it looks like it's going to line up on that outer edge there. Like that. Okay. I'm just going to hold this in here. I think I have it. If I don't, I'm going to have to start this all over. And... One going this way, which holds those back back bricks together, and something's got to hold these sing, these doubles in here. See, there's they're tucked right in there. It's hard to see them, but it looks like this one's gonna hold it all together like that. And then one more over here. It looks pretty stable now. It's a lot of little. See, those are the singles or the doubles in there. All right, well, I think I have it now, let's see. So this is going to go this way, so this is my piano top. Need a couple double pegs. Actually, just one double peg, looks like it holds this whole thing together. This goes into here, just sits in there. And then somewhere tucked in to this corner, was this I think it just sits on there sorry mr. leg okay look at the picture that might help and the picture does not help so I think that's it there they're kind of showing it in this opening where I have it now check yeah. and it just kind of rests on the piano I'll double check that let's get the bench done then I'll come back I'll double check everything so they have this and this this going this side I'm on this little step here that's gonna hold this together okay and flip it over and then one post in each corner and then four of the little white or off-white feet I might have to put on some piano music Maybe I'll have it running through the whole video. I'm not sure. It's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll have a little... Ooh, come on. Come on, fellas. Work with me. Okay. There we go. I noticed, too, that the, the foot pedal is off the ground. Now, I looked at it and studied it. It almost looks like that in the pictures and the diagram. See how it's... Doesn't look like it matches up. Where was that at? Here. You have the two singles and a double. See, this has got three. So I guess you got extra pieces. If you want to get your foot pedal all the way down, you can you know make an addition there to move it down. Because this is one, two, three, four layers. This is just one, two layers. So that's why there's gonna be a height difference on there. See that there? All right, so when I come back, I'm going to clean up all the pieces. I'll double check everything right now, make sure I got the lid on right, and then I'll uh, play the piano. Okay, I uh, did review everything. It looks pretty accurate to the picture, but, you know, if I miss something, let me know in the comments. And then, uh, like I said, the foot pedals seem to be pretty high, and there's enough pieces to lower it, but I just left that as is. Let me just turn it around. It is delicate, so it's something that... Uh, 
you can't put too much pressure on because these legs are not really locked in in any way. They're in there, but they slide a little bit. And let me just turn it back around here so you can see it. I'm happy with the build. And I'll tell you what, I'll finish up with a little piano music. You know how they come in. <clears throat> and we'll walk in. Get on my bench, and here we go. And I'll just let the piano music play, so maybe you can enjoy the piano. And thanks for watching, and if you're a fan of micro bricks, let us know in the comments, and if you've got all the Series 1 sets, I think some people said they did, let us know, and you keep them all on display. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later!
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.